Imagine being that one Joe Schmo that thought Mark Martin was done in 2005. <laughs> Here is Mark Martin's 2010 Car Quest Chevrolet Impala. Hell, Deanny folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again with a freaking epic Mark Martin 2010 CarQuest C-O-T Impala. Holy cow. So this is a beautiful paint scheme that Mark Martin drove in 2010 for Hendrick Motorsports. I mean, look at the blue on this thing. Just a beautiful, perfect middle shade blue. You got the red, you got the white, you got the day glow number five. And uh, it's pretty cool uh, thinking about the five car actually returning to, to the freaking Cup Series. With Kyle Larson. With Kyle Larson? Like, are, are you kidding me? It's it's just so freaking cool. Uh, so I think it's very fitting. We kind of go back in time a little bit and uh, pick up one of these uh, these number five uh, Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolets and go down memory lane once again. So without further ado, let's go and get this 2010 Mike Martin Chevrolet right out of the box. Alrighty, folks. Right out of that good old box and whoa, is this thing even better out of the package? I mean, look at this paint scheme. Right, if you go back to 2010, this is a very, very popular race car. You know, think about the, the, the side pattern, kind of a, I would say a jagged, kind of like a tribal effect, but it has such like bright and like happy colors to it. Really just, it, it's just an awesome combination, right? And of course the Car Quest uh, sponsorship goes even back to the, yeah, got this, the Kyle Busch number five days. Uh, but this is a very, very cool paint scheme. You know, and, and Mark Martin in 2010, I, I, I've been sipping coffee if you can't tell, but uh, Mark Martin in 2010, right? This cat was, I mean, literally, no one on God's green earth would think Mark Martin would come back in 2009 to have the run he did. Keep it going in 2010, you know, running pretty good. And it's just incredible, the, the career Mark Martin has had. Think about it. I mean, this cat... He, he said, oh, I'm done after 05, right? What, is it, what does he do? Come back in 06? Goes 07, nearly wins the Daytona 500. The cat who really doesn't like restrictor plate racing all that much. Nearly wins the freaking 500. 08 was kind of a meh. But I mean, this cat nearly won a Sprint Cup in 09. I mean, what in the world? Wow, it, it was definitely cool as, as a Mark Martin fan. So you got CarQuest there. You got CarQuest Auto Parts. Uh, love this right here. The red Impala, the red bow tie. I still say it today, and I'll say it tomorrow, and I'll say it the day before. You got to put the red bow ties, or the bow ties in general, back on the Chevrolets. I'm saying it for Gen 7, the Camaro. Just put the freaking bow tie right there above the nose. That's all I'm asking. You, you might be saying, oh, well, they got the bow tie on the grill piece. They can't do it. Uh, uh, newsflash. Look at the Ford Mustangs. They still they had the Mustang insignia. Yes, it's not the Ford badge, but they still put the Ford logo on the top of it, and it doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like a, a pile of doo doo. You know what I'm saying? It still looks great. And this to me right here, I freaking love this. So one of my favorite things about the COTs is this little notch right here. How it kind of like it's a smooth, you know, uh, late 2010 sedan style nose, right? But it cuts down, it cuts in, and it cuts back out again. So it's like this giant snow plow. But the way they did the red on this is such a very, very interesting uh, way. You know, the way that the, the headlights look, they're very rounded, very soft. And the way the red and the white work there, very, very sharp. Revesto Sunoco, Goodyear Gator Back Belt, Moog Mail Cop, Edelbrock. Uh, you got the number five right there, Hendrick Motorsports on that headlight. Going to the left side of this 2010 Chevrolet Impala. Let's get a little bit better close up here. That way we can actually see those good old contingencies because, you know, back in the yesteryears, uh, for the newer NASCAR fan, as my good buddy Robbie Noonan would say, um, th the newer fan will never understand the, the reason why fans love contingencies. To most people, it looks like a bunch of bumper stickers thrown on a cereal box. But truth be told, I love contingencies. Like, you know, you look at the JTG Doherty cars, you know, from years past, where they had like 20 different sponsors on the side, or the, the, the Juan Pablo Montoya Target cars, and they have like 30 different sponsors, you know, across the side of this red 42 Impala. I freaking love that, right? Um, so going to the left side, you got uh, NASCAR race car, NASCAR Spread Cup Series, you got a missing uh, Polo Award logo, you got Autometer Jags, EA Sports. Interesting note here, EA Sports did not 
make a 2010 NASCAR officially licensed game, like an actual, like, realistic one. I think they made an arcade one back in 09. Because you think about it, um, Technics made the 2010 um, cars. I think this car is actually on NASCAR Inside or NASCAR the Game 2011, right? Uh, so technically, in 2010, EA Sports doesn't have the rights to it. Now, of course, this paint scheme could have been it could have been drawn up in January 2010. Uh, EA Sports at the time could have still held on to their licensing and whatnot, but you never know. Uh, so you got, uh, of course, you know, Mechanics Square, USG, Dow Chemical, Holly 3M, Tissot, Mac Tools, Goodyear, got the number five, GoDaddy.com, CarQuest Auto Parts, uh, www.bethematch.org, uh, CarQuest right there, Delphi, Quaker State, uh, National Guard, that would be a cool number five car, National Guard one. I think that might be Panasonic or something. You got uh, Bosch right there, Freightliner, Hendrick Motorsports. Got the beautiful Mark Martin signature right there. And even on the winglets, you got the GoDaddy cat just chilling there. Very, very sharp. Let's go get to the caboose of this die cast. And this is attention to detail right here. Now, honestly, this paint scheme gives me some serious, um, I would say, William Byron uh, 2020 Hendrick.com. Uh, paint scheme, you know, that Dawn had to throw back. He ran, I think, in 2017 in the Xfinity Series. He brought a very similar paint scheme in the Cup Series in 2020 with the Hendrick.com car. He drove at the Roval. Very cool car, if you ask me. But look at how they did the brackets here. They actually painted the brackets blue, right? The whole car shot blue. It's like a Smurf. Uh, but they did hand paint or wrap the uh, spoiler. Of course, you got CarQuest Auto Parts once again. You got the Chevrolet bow tie. The back end of this car reminds me so much of those paint scheme templates from the Thunder Games. Got number five, Quaker State. Go over to the right side of this die cast. I've got a little bit of a wonky jaw going on here. So let's zoom out a little bit here. And you can see on the five there, it's it's all skewed up, right? It's like it's trying to climb off a cliff. Um, I mean, look at this. I, I don't know. Just something about that five right there is it, 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 it's giving me the Hershey squirts. I mean, the CarQuest logo is nearly in the back window. Uh, the Sprint Cup decal is all squunched up. It's like it's shy. This is how a side of a car is supposed to look like, for the most part. But this side's a little bit oof, if you ask me. Go over to the roof of this car, and yes, the numbers are true day glow. They will reflect um, with the camera, with the lighting, and of course with sunlight. These things probably look fantastic, as uh, day glow paints are really remarkable. Of course, you got the you know, number 5 right there, back of the good Gen 5 days. I tell you what, I will take a Gen 5 car over a Gen 7, over a Gen 6, any day of the week. We've got GoDaddy.com right there on the deck lid. And I, I gotta say, folks, this is a very, very cool paint scheme. Look, it's not the cat's meow. It's not the greatest paint scheme on earth. Look, is this car gonna put, you know, it's gonna put Cookie Crisp in your cereal bowl? No, it's not. But this is a really cool alternate paint scheme to have for your 2010 collection. Of course, the GoDaddy one, in my opinion, is a banging paint scheme. I highly recommend that. Um, of course, you know, the patriotic car he's made. You know, there was four really good releases in 2010 from Mark Martin. Actually, make that five because he actually had the Hendrick uh, Cars.com paint scheme that he uh, drove in 2010. So, uh, that'd be a cool die cast to get down the road. Anyways, folks, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really, really, really want to make my day, consider hitting that notification bell. Upload uh, diecast videos. I try to at least every day, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And all that being said, folks, the diecast buffet. I'm hyped up on coffee. Have a great one, folks.